Hey folks, Bill of the North here. Picked up an Abrams Sun Compass the other day, so I'm going to go over some of the parts for you and a little bit of how it functions. Stand by for adventure. So we have five parts here that uh, we're concerned with today. If you can hear me over the angry Blue Jays. This is the protractor plate. It goes all the way around there, and just like many sun compasses, the 360 degree compass rose is backwards. This is the date bar. This is the solar plate. This is the shadow bar. And this is the gnomon. Now when this is in use, this is actually bolted to the vehicle. And zero degrees is the front. 180 degrees is the rear. And this protractor plate never moves. It's bolted to the vehicle. Everything else on here, however, does move. This is the date bar and you can see the different months on it. The months are divided up into thirds, so that's the beginning of September, that's about the 10th, that's the 20th, and that's the end of September, beginning of October. Running up and down the side here are the values, the approximate values for the equation of time. So I'm gonna set this for approximately September 19th, and this just moves here, and that's about it. You can use both ends of the date bar they're the same. On one end of the date bar is this arrow and you put that on your desired direction of travel and this whole thing turns to enable you to do that. I will set that on north so we can determine true north. I'm in the northern hemisphere so I have the side of the solar plate set for northern latitudes. If you're in the south this plate lifts up and turns around so that you can have that facing you. Now you can see here on the solar plate, this represents 6 a.m., 7 a.m., 8 a.m., and so on, over to 6 p.m. The squares running side to side between the hours represent 15 minutes. So this is 10, 10.15, 10.30, 10.45, 11 a.m. The squares running up and down are three degree increments. So this is 36 degrees, that's 39 degrees, 42. So you interpolate for the latitudes in between. So 36, 37, 38, 39, and so on. Unlike many sun compasses, this one does not use universal time or Zulu time, Greenwich time. What you're going to do is you're going to take your local time, and if daylight savings time is in effect, you're going to subtract that and you are going to determine how far you are in minutes from the center of your time zone, the standard time zone. And you're going to add or subtract that amount of time. And then you add or subtract the equation of time. So what you're using is solar time, basically, local solar time. So I've got this set up to find true north. Local solar time is approximately 1240. So I'm going to place the shadow bar over the intersection of 43 degrees north, which is my approximate latitude, and 1240. Now what I do, if this was on a vehicle, I would turn the vehicle until the shadow created by the gnomon and the sun falls directly on this. And we'll see how close we get. Okay, that's pretty good. That is pointing to north. So it works. Let's say, let's say we wanted to go in a different direction. Let's say we want to go due west. Well, what we do is we turn the broad arrow right up here so that it is, it is facing 270. And then we make sure that our shadow bar has not moved. And then, which it did. <laughs> so I'll put that back. And then we turn the entire vehicle once more so that the shadow is on the shadow bar. So the, the protractor scale, which does not move, is attached to the vehicle. It is pointing due west, true west. That's all there is to it. It works differently from the Bagnold Sun Compass, but it seems to achieve the same results. And it's kind of interesting. So I hope you found it as interesting as I did. Have a good one. We'll see you next time.